Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. In the previous video, we talked about this tiny component, the DIAC, and in this video, we will see a simple application, which is an LED flasher. As you can see, the circuit is simple. A few components, a DIAC, of course, an LED, a couple of resistors, common diode, and a capacitor. Here is the circuit. Let's see how it works. As you can see, it is connected to mains, 120 volts AC. And since here we have a diode, the current is rectified and we will have DC flowing through the capacitor and this resistor. Therefore, the capacitor will start to charge and the voltage across its terminals will begin to increase. Remember that the DIAC acts like a switch, it is initially open, so the current cannot flow through the LED. But when the voltage at the capacitor terminals reaches 30 volts, the DIAC closes and the current can flow through the LED and its resistor. Now notice that this resistor is of a very low value compared to the other one. Therefore, the current in this part of the circuit is much larger than the current in this other path. Therefore, the capacitor will discharge quickly and its voltage will reduce and also the current through this path. When the current is around 1 milliamp or less, the DIAC opens again and the capacitor, whose voltage is now close to zero, will start to fill again and the voltage will increase and the cycle repeats. Therefore, we will have oscillations, the LED will turn on and off. This capacitor must be rated at least at 30 volts, which is the maximum value before the DIAC closes. So a voltage value of 63 volts is okay, or 50 volts. However, notice that if for some reason this part of the circuit is open and the DIAC does not act, the capacitor will charge at the full line voltage, 120 volts. Therefore, it is recommended that this capacitor is rated at a voltage larger than 120 volts. Next time you need a PCB for your electronics project, consider using the professional services of JLC PCB. JLC PCB is the world leader in PCB fabrication. You can order online. You just need to register, upload your Gerber file, and wait a few days for your PCBs at an unbeatable price. My capacitor is rated at 250 volts. These are not easy to find. However, you can find one inside a CFL lamp. The circuit of these lamps has a high voltage capacitor which is 200 volts or more. Okay, the circuit is now connected, so I'm going to turn it on. And there it is, you can see the LED flashing. The flashing speed or frequency depends on the values of the resistors and the capacitance. For example, a larger capacitance means a lower frequency and vice versa. If this resistor is larger, we will have also a lower frequency. And the same with this resistor, a higher resistor will mean less frequency. So there you have it, a very simple circuit to illustrate the DIAC. I hope you liked this video. 
thanks for coming to my channel and see you in the next one.